Welcome back to the channel guys. Today me and Shane, we're back together. This time we're on the River Trent in Newark and we are fishing for pike, perch and zander. Dead baiting and live baiting. So let's crack on. Look at that. Mate, that's what we came out for. As Darren was saying, today while we're fishing for the pike, we're going to be using some live bait as well as some dead bait. So we got down here probably about an hour or so ago and uh, we've got some maggots and we've already caught a few smalls. I'll show you them in a second. Our dead bait for today is going to be some sardines that you can get from any supermarket. So these ones have been in the freezer, in my freezer. So they're, they're nicely falling out and we sometimes cut them up, you know, and, and just put them in as a free offering. So as a scent for the pike, worked well in the past. So it's something that we might be looking for today. In here, obviously you'll notice the pump to keep, to look after the, the, the live bait, it keeps the, the live bait very lively. We've got a mixture of all sorts in here, as you can see the, the lively little critters. After we've been fishing for the pike, if there's anything that's remaining regarding the live bait, it will get returned to the river. So it will get to live for another day. So another little tip that I use, I don't know whether it works or not, but it seems to have done in the past. So we're using it again today is while we're fishing for the smalls, obviously the pike chase the smalls. So they'll be coming in. So what I do is I offer a few maggots at the side of the live baits. So at the same time, there's loads more little fish there. So when the pike comes in to chase it, obviously they'll disperse and hopefully leave my live bait right next to the mouth. Here we go. First little jack pike of the season. Caught that on a little live bait brooch on the River Trent. <laughs> Look at it. Beautiful little pike. But we want his granddaddy. <laughs> That's an outtake. <laughs> right, let's get him back. Right, I thought I'd run you through the rig quickly. Now this isn't a live fish. This is one of the sardines. It's been frozen. It's 100% dead. Um, so I'll show you the... Now this isn't the be all and end all rig and it isn't, um, you know, the, the only rig you can do. Very, very simple. So we've got all the way up the top, we'll have a, a a line stop then we've got a bead just to stop the line stop potentially going through the through the float then we've got a pike float just free running just threaded through the uh, through the braid then we've got a weight again free running underneath that is another bead just to stop between the the trace and then a wire trace connected to uh, trebles now these trebles um, you can buy them so only one of each treble is barbed and then the reason you buy them like that is because you put the barb in the actual bait so then it makes it should make there you go <laughs> it makes things uh, uh it makes unhooking the pike perch zander whatever takes your bait a lot easier because if they're barbed and they're trebled i mean you you guys have you know how how hard it is to to get one barb out of a of a fish let alone three three and then potentially six so they're really worth getting um just to make your life easier and make it safer for the fish you may lose one in 10 or 20 or 30 but makes your life easier safer for the fish and yeah easier all round That's one mate, second fish of the day, one each now. We've just got a pike, um, about six or seven pounds. Uh, he's definitely been in the war wounds this one. It looks like he's he swallowed a tennis ball on his back, bless him. So, a lovely fish. Uh, was only about six foot away from the bank. He was just caught caught on a, on a sardine, floated, well, let, with weight on the, across the bottom. Um, you could see the float go under and literally just nailed it. Right, while we're waiting for a bite, I thought I'd just show you my actual setup. So I've got two Corum barbel rods. Um, barbel are real strong fighting fish. So are pike, uh, really, you know, really suitable rods. Uh, but it's on this new uh, NGT pod, um, which is, a really really good pod it's a pod but can also be a river pod 
so you can change the legs and extend them and then push it up so it's really really good it's only about like 35 40 quid i actually can't get enough of it it really does work um i'll show you around it now so this is the actual pod um and my setup so we're trying to keep the line up in the air so it's off the water as much as possible but yeah this is the pod so it just these legs really extend and there's three positions here so you can have it here here or here depending on where you want it i've got the um i've got the uh R r2s on on the bite alarms and then i've just put some um cups on on the end to hold the rods in place it really is a great all-in-one pod because if i mean myself i live in a motorhome and i travel in a motorhome constantly so i can't have a river pod and a cart pod and this pod and that pod and do my, all my, much again i've got my trusty shimano 4000s I that's all i run they're both on 38 pound braid which sounds excessive but you know in these waters you don't know where you're going to get snagged so if you do get snagged you want to be able to get your hooks back you don't want to leave hooks in the water you want to be able to get the fish in um if you're going around you know weeds and all this and that braid will cut through that so this is my setup rods nice in the pod both on float one one down there and one down there like darren i've also opted for the barbel rod for piking just because they're light and they make use, you know, they're, they're absolutely sound. I've used them for many years. These are my rods, you know, I've used them for a long, long time. I'm using the Shimano 8000s, obviously with the bait runner side of things. Like Darren, I've also got, I think this is 35 pound braid. You need a good, good solid braid as like Darren was saying. I haven't opted for the pod like Darren has. I like my rod spread out a little. So what I've done is just a genuine bank stick and then nothing special, just a simple, alarm and the reason why this is alarm and it's simple is because you can just you buy the batteries from everywhere it's just a nine volt battery you haven't got to go looking for the small ones or anything like that it's job done i've got one rod further down so i'm not like i say not not using the uh, the tripod i've got one further down with the alarm on again but we can see them it's just a nice indication to say when they've been picked up and it's moving the alarm will just go off It's a huge perch, isn't it? So here we have a that. lovely perch, just absolutely hammered the live bait. I mean, look at the size of him. Look at his beautiful fins. That is a monster perch, mate. Monster. What did you catch it on? It was on um, a roach, a little roach. Look at that. absolutely stunning and for those have had a big perch you'll realize that the the skin feels almost like a a, a sanding pad absolutely stunning fish four 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 with the net, with the net. 1.6 yeah okay so what's he making that makes him two nearly three pounds worth of perch just shy of three pound two two ounces yeah, that's two ounces shy of three pound perch. That was a lovely perch, oh, wasn't it? Oh, mate, that, was a, that would have been my biggest perch ever. Especially to take the live as well, yeah, the live bait. Yeah. Absolutely hammered it. I mean, that that would have been my absolute biggest perch. It um, shot off. Yeah, it just probably screamed. <laughs> we were just about to sit down yeah, and we record was, something. Yeah. And it was just like, it just started going. Darren, I've it? gone. Oh, he's in again. What's going on? Oh, we're in. This one actually feels a little bit better of a fish, to be honest. I believe it's a Xander, this one. If this is actually a Xander, then we've had all three in one session <laughs> in the space of about four hours. Mate, how good of a session is this turning out to be? It will be all right if we can get him, Daz, if we can get him. <laughs> he's fighting, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's running. We were pretty getting a bit, you know, not not feeling the session it weren't really going quick was no, it nothing no. was really happening as much as we which we, we had we tried everything haven't we oh it's not it's a pike oh it's a pike oh it's a pike i thought it was honestly i thought it was a zander ah oh, well it's still it's a great fish we that's what we came out for for pike and yeah that's brilliant 
I'm sweating. <laughs> See, I tell everyone, fishing's hard work, mate. <laughs> fishing is hard We're work. Get a tail walk from him. Oh. I think it might be done now. In the net. Congratulations, mate. Oh, I got a dab on. <sighs> so this one took uh, another live bait. I believe it was a little chub. And um, this one absolutely slammed it as well, actually, while I was recording, it was gone. Um, <laughs> This one's actually quite a lump, actually. So he's actually a, a weighty one. We'll have a weigh of him and look, look at that. Stunning fish, absolutely stunning. Hold him up a bit. Look at that. So, mate, that's what we came out for. Look at the head on it. It's just a beast. Look at the belly on her. Yes. What are you thinking? How much? Um, I reckon she'll be probably eight pounds, this one. Let's have a weigh and let's uh, yeah. get her back. 12.15 There we go Congratulations mate Absolutely stunning fish that one again Yes We've had some good fish now Been a cracking little day It has, hadn't turned out bad Cracking little session that's turned out to be so We'll probably start packing up soon But yeah, because we were going to start packing yeah, up weren't we? It. Uh, we were just filming the last bits and then uh, getting ready to go getting ready to start packing up and <laughs> it's just been a rush of activity everything should be going mental isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the whole net and handle it's not easy but it's two yeah two four so it was about 10 pound then it was a couple of pound heavier so it's about 10 pound yeah, yeah. so it's actually 10 pound yeah yeah now we all know fish safety is is you know the the first and foremost of all fishing um now i'm not gonna go over about landing nets and 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 unhooking mats they're a standard for all fish across the board you know you don't want fish dropping you never pick them never stand up with them i'm not going to teach you all that but one thing i just want to talk to you about is with pike perch and zander and your treble hooks you need to be carrying the tools to be able to deal with them and unhook them fish safely now this looks like a dentist's night a, 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 a horror movie from a dentist scene um <laughs> i'll see you now um but there's various forceps um to, to to be able to get these hooks out um a pair of snips if you're gonna have to cut um a a wire trace you, you know to, to be able to then get if it's that twisted up and 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 that you know hooked you might need these and you'd rather have them with you and then not need them than need them and a fish is you know it's, it's, it's at your mercy um, and if you haven't got something to cut a wire trace how are you going to cut a trace because uh, they're, they're not exactly easy to cut it's not mono line um, we've got curved forceps we've got smaller ones you know <laughs> Shane brought Shane carries this which is it, it's right I mean if if you catch a, a 20 30 pound pike their their heads are like this you know this isn't a big tool compared to one of them it really isn't now you know this isn't from an a tackle shop this is clearly from uh, a hardware shop but again it's you know it's lumps of metal at the end of the day and it does the job again same as these all I'm just trying to emphasize is that fish fish safety is is number number one and and we want to be you know uh, and put these fish back to catch another day another winter when they put on another five pounds um so having all the tools with you to be able to unhook treble treble hooks on these predator fish is imperative obviously darren's talked you through the the tools and that that we need so it's 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 quite worth mentioning the gloves and you might see the gloves that we've got on or both of us have got on now my my glove is more of a a protective glove um it, you can hold the fish and it don't take the slime off the fish and we can hold them with a bit of confidence etc if they do like pull because pike are very a very strong fish so instead of using a tea towel and stuff like that you know and also you don't grab hold of the teeth so much you know obviously you have to keep your, your hands out of the way of course you know so we have to treat them with respect and that's why i've got my gloves on now darren's got a more solid of a glove and the reason why is again to protect himself as well as the fish Again, it's like a leather glove, so it don't take all the slime or the protective coat, as we call it, off the fish. And the, the, it's, that's the fish care from us, you know. Just protect them 
where you can. If, it, if it's just going out and getting a glove, you know, that, that's gonna less harm the fish and so on, just, just go for it. These are made by Fox. I mean, other brands do them, but th these I've had a, a couple of weeks now. So I used to have a glove that was like um, a, a neoprene glove, but I think these ones are obviously specifically for the predator fishing or so it said. So absolutely stunning glove. And I think they're only about 15 quid. All right, that is the end of this session. What a session. Absolutely banging. Oh, some lovely fish. We came out to catch some pike and well, we succeeded. I caught one little jack pike straight yeah. off the bat. Um, it, it went really quick, it did, didn't it? Yeah, it was quick. And then it just went dead, didn't it? We, we didn't have nothing for a while, didn't we? No, it was like, we were disappointed. We were thinking, oh, okay, so we caught one pike. Um, you know, that's that's going to be all for this video. And then you caught that one yeah. that had the deformed back. Yeah, like, a, a, like a tennis ball on yeah. the pad, bless him. Um, it was a fighter, though. Yeah, yeah, it it yeah. didn't seem to worry. It must have been it. all right. Yeah. And, uh, but then, and then, <laughs> then we thought, right, okay, we've got a fish each. Yeah. That's a great, that's a great way for the uh, for the video and for a day's session, really, exactly, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know how well these mics are picking us up. <laughs> it's like East from Airport. It is. It? It's pretty. Windy. It's really sunny. Really yeah. windy. You got the train in the back and everything. Um, yeah, but then when we were doing a little bit of filming just about our day, oh, they, they absolutely screamed yeah, off that with perch. that perch. Yeah, banger. That perch, honest to God, that perch, honest to God, fish, fish of the day, yeah, without was, a doubt, yeah, without sunny. a doubt, that was a, it was a lovely stonking fish, perch. Yeah, fish. really was. But yeah, great little and session then, on the yeah, trend. And then to end it, obviously we had that one that was ten pound. Yes. I didn't think it was ten or eight, nine pound. You know, that was it. <laughs> that was, and we uh, the net wasn't even made up, was it? No, because no. we just finished just... weighing the perch, <laughs> so we had to. I had to quickly. I was like, the net's not done. Yeah, testing times. So. Yeah, it, yeah, and all our gear was everywhere. Yeah. But now we're all packed up, as you can see, ready to rock and roll. But yeah, that is the end of this video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you uh, hit, hit the thumbs up and that. If you've got any uh, hints, tips, comments, questions, yeah. then uh, drop them in the comments below and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Take it easy.